I have been making models for 3D printing and sharing them with others online for over a decade now. And in all that time, there has been one tool that I have used that has been indispensable. And now it looks like Microsoft is dispensing with it and I'm not happy. But before I tell you about that, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're new to 3D printing or just want something new to do with 3D printing, you're in the right place. I hope that you'll stick around. That means subscribe. And also, maybe come and join me on my Discord, where I have a great community of people who are doing great things with 3D printing and helping others do great things as well. I hope to see you there. When you're making models for 3D printing, especially models that you're going to share with other people, it's important that those models be... Mm, how to put this uh, mathematically sound but the thing is if you're designing it as a human being who's probably not as good at math as the computer that you're using to do this there's a good chance that there might be something wrong with your model that you can't see and it might be something small the, the mathematical term is non-manifold but there are other things that could actually be a problem with it but it doesn't matter what the problem is the solution in the past has always been to run it through a program called netfab i enjoyed netfab because it would correct the problems in your models but then it would keep the base geometry as similar to the original model as possible it was great while it lasted. Unfortunately, NetFab was bought by Microsoft a little while ago, and they took the algorithm for NetFab and folded it into a program that they call 3D Builder. Now, this is 3D Builder. It's a, it's a simple program that, on the face of it, appears to be a little bit like Tinkercad. You can use it to build models, but what I've done here is I've loaded in one of my printer block sort of blocks, the things that you can use and this one in particular holds documents you know it's just a little document holder but once you load it in the first thing you have to do especially if it's an stl is tell it what the unit size of it is so millimeter is the standard one so we hit okay and then it loads the file in and you know 3d builder allows you to do different things you can edit your model with with different shapes merge them together you can add insert i suppose they call it other shapes in there but the thing that i do with it the most uh we can also do a quick paint let's do a quick paint on this because gray is just terrible to look at boom okay fantastic now it's yellow but the thing that i use this for the most is you notice how when it loaded in it's got this little red outline around it not quite as easy to see because this model is so long but yes it's got a red outline and in the lower right hand corner there your model is not correctly defined click here to fix it now, I don't know what's wrong with this model. Actually, I do. I had to fake it to make it work for this video. But nevertheless, I might not know what's wrong with this model. And it's possible that I could take this model and hand it to my slicer on my 3D printer and it'll be fine. But then I take it and upload it and somebody else's slicer for a different 3D printer can't handle whatever weird thing is wrong with this one and it would cause them to have a problem. So I will let... 3D Builder, fix it by clicking here, and it'll take all of a couple of seconds for it to process on this particular model. And depending on the complexity, it might take a little bit longer. I've had some fixes take a really long time. But now that red outline is gone, and I can take this 3D model and be confident that anybody who takes it and slices it, regardless of the slicer or the 3D printer that they're using, will have success with it. So that's great, and that is honestly the only thing that I use 3D Builder for. But if this functionality were taken away from me, I would lose the ability to confidently upload 3D models online. The problem is Microsoft is taking away 3D Builder because the way that you get 3D Builder, the only way that you can get 3D Builder is, well, to start with, you open up their store the microsoft store you go up into the store and you type 3d builder to search for it and then you pull it up on the list the problem is it's not on the list it's nowhere here anymore 3d builder has been taken we got blender we got a 3d viewer but the 3d viewer doesn't have the ability to repair files 3d builder is gone from the microsoft store now fortunately it's not gone gone i managed to find this on microsoft's own support site that says oh yeah if you want it all you have to do is just follow this link right here and it will take you to where you can you know see 3d builder on the website you can 
view in store. Now it says download, but that doesn't give you an executable. If it did, all of our problems would be solved, but no, Microsoft isn't giving us the executable for this. If you hit download, it will open it in the store and there it is. It's, it's still in the store. It's just been delisted. It's been de-emphasized. That is just one step away from being gone whatsoever. And the fact that people can't find this, the fact that you have to go through this ridiculous hoop right now, I think is ridiculous. But even more than that, I worry that how long is it going to be before Microsoft is like, well, nobody's downloading 3D Builder anymore because we hit it. Ha ha ha. And then they just delete it entirely. I don't know, but they've, they've gated off this indispensable tool and then now they're going to I, I worry now I will put the link for 3d builder where you can find it in this video so as long as it's available this video will point you to it but I wanted to make this video to first of all if you were not aware of this tool to make you aware of it and secondly to kind of raise my voice and say we need this tool yes I, I see that maybe the problem is that 3D Builder was built to be kind of like a Tinkercad replacement and it never, it never quite met that need. It, it was never quite as good as other 3D building programs. And so Microsoft is going, well, it's not doing what it's supposed to. But this one function of it, the ability to repair models so that I can confidently upload them online, I would be gutted if I lost that. Now, is there other ways that we can fix the models? Yes, maybe, but I want to be sure that anybody who's 3D printing my models, whether they're going to be using Cura to slice it or Idea Maker, or whether they're going to be going back and using, I don't know, what's the earliest slicer that you can think of? Slick 3-er? I think there's even older ones than that, but I want my models to be safe for them to slice. And I have seen these models sometimes have problems where the meshes overlap in weird ways and it just like cuts out whole lines, whole, whole layers of the print just don't work, which is going to result in a big pile of spaghetti. This tool has been a tool in my arsenal for over 10 years. Microsoft took it. They made it so that they were the only ones who could use it. And now they're taking it away. And that doesn't feel good. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making a big deal about nothing, but if you have ever used this tool, or if you have made models for 3D printing and needed a tool like this, let me know in the comments. And if there's anything we can do to convince Microsoft to bring this back, or, or even better, open it up and make it available for other people to use. One problem when they bought NetFab was that NetFab worked on Mac and Windows, and then they killed off NetFab and just made it so that only Windows users could use it. If we could have some sort of like 3D print repair utility that would work for everybody like netfab did that would be even better but let me know if you have any ideas how we can save 3d builder or at least save what's left of netfab but that's it for this video i want to thank you very much for watching and i want to remind you that you are a child of god so you're special to me so take care of yourself and hey if you can find somebody else to take care of too we all need each other i'll see you next time